I tried the new Revair, it exceeded my expectations, and I'm going to be giving you all of the details about the new features and talk about why this device is going to be a game changer for my hair care routine. Before I jump into all of that, I want to send a quick thank you to the lovely team at Revair for sponsoring today's video. A quick note about my hair type, I have highly textured type 4 hair, poor strands, and medium density. I also want to call out that I purchased the original Rev Air back in January of 2020 after one of my good friends told me about how it improved her hair care routine. I was immediately impressed with the technology. I love all things beauty, tech, and science, and the Rev Air by reversing the airflow creates negative pressure, which really helps with closing the cuticle and giving you smooth end results. So I was a little bit skeptical about whether or not this new version was going to be significantly different or better than the original, and I was proven wrong very, very quickly once I got started with the device. Now let's talk about some of the features of the device. The first thing that you will notice is that it is noticeably smaller and lighter than the original device. This means that the new Rever is going to be more portable, easier to store, and just easier to maneuver when you're doing your hair. If you do your own hair like I do, you know how much of an upper body workout it can be to get around your entire head, and every ounce really does count. So I really appreciate that the team at Rivera has gone that extra distance to really make this more compact and easier to use from a size perspective. There's also a pretty noticeable difference with the length of the tube itself. That might not seem like a big deal right off the bat, but I find that to be a really practical improvement. With that longer tube on the older model, I often found that the tube would get caught on the cabinet handles that were below the countertop where I set up to do my hair. And I'd have to stop and pause occasionally to make sure that I unwound all of that so that I could keep going without any issues. Cutting down on that tube length does not take away from the functionality itself, but it really further streamlines it and makes it easier to use. The new model is also noticeably quieter than the original one. When we talk about hair dryers, we don't often talk about the noise that is created for these tools to function and how that can have cumulative effects on our hearing over long periods of time. So that's just something to keep in mind when you think about your total body health and wellness and how your beauty tools fit into that as well. The new model of the Rever also has a really nice and sleek digital screen where you control how much suction you want. Overall, it's just a more streamlined tool that is still very durable and very powerful. With that being said about power, let's talk about the first highlight of why I think this is going to be the tool that will give you your healthiest and most efficient blowout. The first major highlight to call out is that the highest heat setting on the Rev Air goes up to 220 degrees Fahrenheit, which is well below the threshold at which heat damage is caused. As you can see on the wand of the Rev Air, you have two heat settings. The two bars represents the highest heat at 220 degrees, and one bar represents the lower heat setting, which comes in at about 158 degrees. On top of the tool not getting crazy hot, it is incredibly fast. I finished my entire head of hair in 26 minutes. I am not sure that I ever thought it would be possible to finish my entire head of hair in under 30 minutes at home. This time of 26 minutes is 28% faster than the next fastest tool I have used to blow dry my hair. I have been doing my hair at home for 15 years at this point. I have tried six or seven high-end hair dryers and I have never gotten this type of efficient result from any of the other ones. The Rever is also super easy to use. It's a one-handed tool. You don't have to master the comb chase method. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't really have the dexterity to do the comb chase method or to do that round brush blow dryer combo. Shout out to the girls and guys who have mastered those skill sets, but that is not my ministry. That is not me at all. So I really appreciate the simplicity of the tool and how once you pop it out of the box and set it up, you're pretty much ready to go without having to do a lot of skill development. Also, because you don't need to use combs or brushes to get really great results, you're eliminating the risk of mechanical damage, which is huge, and it's going to go a long way for protecting the health and integrity of your hair. In the past, I really believed that my hair type required both high heat and high tension to get really good smooth results, and the Rev Air has proven that that is not true at all. I am thrilled that I have a healthier option for getting a really good base for whatever other styling I'm going to do, whether that be putting my hair into a protective style or flat ironing after. And a note for the girls that flat iron their hair and have hair like mine, you know how important it is to get a really smooth base in order for your flat iron results to come out really nice and to last as well. And I really achieved that with the Rev Air. My hair was flat ironed after they used the Rev Air. It's been over a week and I have pretty minimal frizz considering that I live in hot and humid Houston, Texas. It is currently 100 degrees and I really do credit the Rev Air and that really foundational step of getting sleek results there 
to going a long way and helping my flat iron results last. Overall, I am just really thrilled to have a healthier option for getting my hair dry and sleek and smooth. I'm at a point in my hair journey where I want to have fun with it. I don't want to wear my hair in a bun 90% of the time out of fear of damaging it. And I just want to have more flexibility. The rubber is really fundamental in helping me strike that balance between healthy hair care practices and the styling flexibility that I want while still maintaining the integrity of my hair as best as I can. The tool is worth it for me because I use a hair dryer every single wash day. I find that my hair type does so much better in a stretched state, meaning that I get fewer single strand knots, fewer tangles, and also just better length retention overall. So for me, this tool is 100% worth it. I also want to call out that the tool is super versatile. I've used it in the past to dry braids. You can use it to dry locks, twists, extensions, wigs, and it is going to save you so much time compared to air drying without damaging your hair. Let's take a quick look at what all you get when you order the total package from Revair. As you can see, it comes in super nice and sleek packaging with tons of high quality accessories. I for one can never have enough nice combs and sturdy clips, so I really appreciate all these little bonuses that go into making this package such a great value. If you've seen some of my other videos, you might have heard me talk about how I think it is super important and worthwhile to invest in your self-care and your overall appearance, and I think the Revier is a great investment in that area because this really has helped me achieve the healthiest and most efficient blowout of my entire life. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, drop any questions down below, and don't forget to subscribe.